Hi guys, uh, this is Julo here from Top Clips. In this short tutorial, I will show you how to apply watermark effects on, on images and also on video clips. I will use Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom and also Final Cut Pro X. So in this first uh, example, you see Photoshop is opened and I put a text layer over the image and then I just rasterize the type. And after that, I go to the style, uh, filter style menu and then I choose emboss that will put a, a sort of a outline around the text, makes it a bit 3D looking, as you can see here. And then and I can uh, change the height. So basically, how strong I want this effect, but around 3 pixels, I think it will be fine. Okay. I have to choose here in this drop down menu um, hard light uh, option. So this will make the text a little bit uh, transparent. Of course, you can uh, multiply this layer so you can put more watermarks over your image if you want. It's pretty easy. Just drag this here and then. The other ones there. So, so once you're done, happy with the result, you can just flatten all these layers and then just export out. So a second example is Adobe Lightroom. Uh, here you have to do it a little bit differently. You go to the export menu where you will see the watermarking option. <clears throat> here you can create new watermarks or, or edit the existing ones. In this case I will make a new one now. So I just choose this menu here and then I put here top clips. That will be the watermark. And here on the right side you can uh, tweak a little bit so you can move the text, uh, make it bigger, smaller. You can also apply a drop shadow to it. There's no emboss effects like it was in Photoshop. So all you can do is just put a bit of a drop shadow underneath the text. So in Lightroom basically you can export out a bunch of images, like hundreds, thousands even, and it will put all this watermark on, on all the images you you want so it's a pretty handy feature you can also do that in photoshop if you run a batch but in lightroom it's much easier i choose a font which is a bit more fat like impact for example it's more readable the screen and then i can also play with the opacity a bit so make it a bit more transparent the text Once it's done, you just have to save this as a new preset and you can use it for the next time too if you want and then just go export and that's it. But how do you do that on a video clip? Well, it's not very difficult, it's pretty much the same idea. So you, you have the clip, in this case it's just an image but it doesn't matter and above it you just uh, drag a text layer. You can also, again, choose a more fatty looking font like Impact and um, you just position it where you want. And you can also apply here a drop shadow like we did in Lightroom and basically that's about it. Uh, and under the drop shadow, if you open it, you have to tweak it again a little bit so the opacity is best if it's 100 and the blur is on zero, so we don't blur the shadow, so it's more sharp, and pretty much that's it. Here on the top, uh, if you go over to this menu, you can set this, uh, the composition, to overlay. Well, we did hard light in Photoshop, but 
final control it's overlay it's a different effect but pretty much the same result you can see it's a little bit transparent but it's still readable over the white and also on the on the black background thank you for watching and if you like this tutorial and if you want more like this just uh, let us know in the comment below and please subscribe to our channel so we can work more on this